What is going on ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing today? Back at you with a new video. I am on a roll this week. I am too HHN hyped right now. I know that Saturday I went, but I am still hyped on Wednesday and let's do this. Today we're going to be talking about my top 10 favorite HHN facades. We're going to be updating it with HHN 2018 stuff because I had went to HHN 2018 and there was a lot of facades that caught my attention and I want to share them with you and update my facade list as of this year. I know I did a facade and maze HHN uh, update uh, earlier in the year and that was for 2017 stuff but now I want to update it for 2018 stuff so this is a 2018 updated part 2. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Coming in at number 10 is going to be Halloween 1. Now Halloween 1 was probably one of the best uh, Halloween facades they've ever done. Um, out of the three years they've done it, not in a row, but it's one of the best. I won't say it is the best because I have something to say for that, but Halloween 1 is going to be one of the most iconic and remember memorable ones because um, that was uh, Michael Myers' house and it's got that iconic scene where he stabs his sister in the window then you walk in and of course when you walk in you see Michael Myers upstairs which obviously is one of the best things I've ever walked through so coming at number 10 is going to be Halloween 1 number 9 is going to go to Ash vs Evil Dead which was represented at the event in 2017 and that was really cool because you got to see his trailer and the uh, trailer park that he lived in like I said in the last video, the thing that killed it for me was they didn't put the Delta out front. Nonetheless though, the facade was phenomenal because once you went inside the facade, you saw inside of Ash's trailer and you saw the iconic scene where he shoots the old lady with the shotgun, which was freaking awesome. Coming in at number 8 is going to be Whores of Blumhouse Chapter 1. Now like I said in the previous video, I like the Whores of Blumhouse Chapter 1 uh, facade because it was awesome. It started out with the purge outside and you got to walk through the chaos of the purge. Then you saw the theater that said the Whores of Blumhouse movie marathon, which included Happy Death Day and Sinisters 1 and 2. So I was very excited for that and that was really cool. Coming in at number seven is American Werewolf in London and that is gonna be the Slaughtered Lamb. That was an awesome facade. It looked just like the movie and stuff like that. And I really appreciated it, really enjoyed it. Then you walked inside the Slaughtered Lamb and you had the bartender who was being very rude and telling you to get out. Where you, then you go into the forest and you get confronted by the werewolf. But nonetheless, the Slaughtered Lamb just gave me goosebumps when seeing it and it felt real and I really enjoyed it. Coming in at number six is gonna be 2018's Halloween 4. Penny's Diner and Garage. Now that was a really cool facade. It was probably one of the biggest facades I've ever seen at the event at the years I've been there. Um, and I really thought it looked identical just like the movie and that's the best part about this event. When they can bring our horror movies to life, our nightmares to life, that's always awesome. But when you walked inside Penny's Diner, you were inside the garage, you saw the bug and then you saw Michael Myers with his face all covered up in the white um, wrapped just like in the movie and then you turn the corner and you see, are confronted with Loomis and Michael Myers the infamous scene where he sees Michael Myers for the first time and tries to shoot him but then disappears so that was an awesome facade just seeing Penny's diner and garage um, represented was really cool coming in number five is gonna be 2018's Trick or Treat now they really outdid themselves with this facade this facade was by far Phenomenal. They brought the entire house in the opening sequence of Trigger Tree to life. It was all lit up with Halloween lights and it had a lot of the uh, scarecrows with the white sheets on and, and it was just awesome. Then you walk through and you go to the side and you enter the inside of the maze, which the first scene you see in the maze is of course the scene where the lady gets killed by Sam and is hidden inside one of the white sheets where it's all bloody. Except there was no white sheet of bloody, it was just her with of course the lollipop in her mouth and it was just awesome so that was really cool and I really appreciated that maze. Coming in at number four is gonna be Universal Monsters. Now this was another maze much like Horrors of Blumhouse chapter one where the maze started outside but it was almost like a facade in the way getting you set up to go inside the maze and it was really cool. You get to walk through this graveyard and you're awakening 
all of the uh, graves and tombs of the universal monsters such as Frankenstein, uh, Dracula, uh, the Wolfman, uh, Phantom of the Opera, all of them. It was really cool to go through and of course you see Frankenstein holding up the little girl that he kills in the movie and I thought that was really awesome. Then once you go outside of that, you get to see a bunch of mob, uh, angry mob uh, storming Dr. Frankenstein's castle and they're telling you basically that you're monsters and stuff like that and I thought that was really cool. It really brought the scene to life for me and I really enjoyed it. Coming in at number three is going to be Poltergeist. Uh, 2018's Poltergeist was really good. The maze itself was awesome, but the facade was even cooler. Now outside, if you're not familiar with the movie, there's this one scene in the movie where uh, when the dad comes home, the lights are going crazy, the, the wind is going nuts, and they did really did that with the light effect, and they really made that come to life, and it was really cool. You got to see the lights go ape shit, and I thought it was awesome. One of the best facades I've seen in a very long time. And number two is going to be coming to The Shining. Now last year's The Shining was freaking awesome. Uh, when you enter the maze, uh, like in the movie, and then you go inside the maze, was really cool. Just to bring that hedgehog maze to life was really awesome, and I think um, it, it was just it was cool to experience as a horror fan and as a Shining fan. It was just really cool to see. And of course, number one is never gonna probably be beaten unless something else can come along one of these days and beat it, which is the exorcist because they literally brought that movie poster to life and i thought it was really really fucking awesome of course you see Marin sitting right there and then the light coming down in his face which is actually coming down at you then you enter the house where you see reagan come down and do the spider walk which was an iconic scene an iconic movie poster and obviously it's going to go down in history at universal horror nights as one of the most iconic facades ever that's going to do it for my top 10 facades updated as of 2018 i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to tune in tomorrow because i'm going to share with you my top 10 hhn mazes i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe turn on that bell notification to join the madhouse and become a knight make sure to follow me on social media twitter at knights of horror instagram at the knights of horror my name's Anthony, this is the Knights of Horror, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.